Ramon's joining you, and today we're gonna be playing uh, Death Road to Canada. I'm gonna be the commentator. Well, my dad, Greenline, is gonna be the You can hear him. Bongo, bongo. So, let's start this. Change game option. Me, custom characters. No game. Empty. Choose game shot. You need a load? Buddy. Yeah. Let's go, Ram. Uh, so, we'll do our custom characters. So, we have Enoch. Uh, his perk is friend of dog, and he's a warrior. Then we're gonna have Fabian, the explorer, and he is a resilient type. So, let's start. Enoch here's rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to to brave the death road and travel north. Throwing for throwing throw furniture by picking it up, then pressing attack. Though throwing can be powerful and efficient. Let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road to Canada, you will need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. We have rest stop, quiet hotel, quiet factory, and house on the road. And I say rest stop. That might be a good place. The group fi finds a rest stop along the road. It looks very quiet from the outside. Your zombie forecast is swarm size, mild, aggression, sluggish. Current time, late afternoon. Is it rest stop? So we have a piece of wood and a rebar. Yeah. Fabian would come with me. And then Fabian gets that. So let's start. So as you can see, we just ran over some frogs. Oh yeah, it's this place. But uh, this is a rest stop. Do remember how to yeah, okay, so pretty much your objective is to get through 15 days uh, through a zombie filled room. So uh, we're at the rest stop and we're trying to find supplies first. And Fabian's weapon just broke, so let's just keep looking. There's some snack machines. Grab them. So yeah, you. <coughs> we're just gonna let. Right now, we'll play for a little bit. I think you can pick up the flags. Yeah, you can pick up the flags and hold them. <coughs> I think you can look through the coin boxes. No, never mind. Um. Okay, so next room. Okay, so we have a bathroom. And awkwardly, if you can find a toilet that has a seat down, you can get gas from it. I don't know why, but you can get gas. Okay, so, yeah, let's keep, let's look for the next room. And this place is filled with zombies. Oh my gosh, it has a lot of supplies. There's a, a toilet that's closed. One gas pump. Uh, Keep looking. I think we should probably. Oh, wait, grab the last bit of foods and then we should start running. Actually, we should start running now. We're in quarters. Come on, Fabian. So, they, we're going to escape right now. Um, maybe. Yeah, we're going to. Okay, so, go to the car. Or, but he's looking right now, or checking around. What is that? Oh no, it's a zombie falling. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, let's hit the road. Let's start the car. 
So that was day one. Nice. So we had found 10 food, uh, 33 gas, two medical supplies, and 12 pistol ammo. So hmm, let's go. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a in a city par apartment because there is no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Who leads the escape? He run out now. Okay. Yes! Oh. Dang it! So, the group reaches the city as it starts to rain. The, the drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies. Your zombie forecast is some swarm size mild. Aggression irritated near noon. When driving, we go to the bookstore. So give Fabian, take off the spatula from Enoch, and then give it to Fabian. He has a waste of weapon. Head so. boogie. So this is the spring area. There's oh, we found a shotgun, or he found a shotgun. So yeah, three more. Let's check the area. So ammo, ammo, more shotgun ammo. Some zombie. Uh, some food, more food, and more food. Okay, let's look. Reaper looks like a chainsaw right now. The, so, that room didn't have anything. So, let's go to the next room. Check the medical supplies, food, and ammo. Awkwardly in a bookshelf. Check the bed. I think there's something in there. No, it was just a scratch. <laughs> yes! So, then we have the next room. Nothing in it. That sucks. Grab, um, like grab the chair and throw the zombie. It's pretty hard. But uh, so is there any other room in there? One more room that we haven't checked. Nah. And that's the box with food. Why do people put food in a box? Okay, let's go. Uh, next room, we're to go to the bookstore. And just block off. Never mind. Uh, the next house? Which is the regular house. That room has it blocked off. This room has food, more food, and I guess food. Yeah. Come on, Fabian. And blocked off. Dang it! You can't get through the doors that are blocked off. It's just blocked. So then we have the last house in the bookstore, I think it's. Yeah, the, the book bookatorium. So. Hopefully, there's a magazine in there, which. With a magazine, you can read stuff from it and find out uh, things. Like you can learn different skills from magazines. Hmm. Pretty area. This was this story was a waste of time. Dang it. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. Well, yeah, that's good. There's no more. I think there's a, I think there's nothing left. Maybe there's one more house. I don't know. Check. Uh, nope. Okay, let's boogie. Come on, Fabian. Third and floor. We have collected ten food, one medical supplies. Uh, 11 pistol ammo, 15 rifle ammo, and uh, 15 shock shotgun ammo. So, let's go. 
Fabian has lost a bit of health too. There's a twinkle truck, Twinkie truck on the road. It's upside down and the door to the back is locked tight. The group sal sal salivates about the bounty of, of processed corn syrup that must be inside. Ignore it for health reasons. Enoch tries to jimmy the door. Enoch shoots the lock. Enoch smashes it with something heavy. Enoch tries to jimmy it open. Dang it. Enoch's morale decreases. That sucks. And also my medical sucks. I mean my the mechanical sucks for him. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Fabian even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. Eat marshmallows. The group sets up camp and then eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Nice. Fabian tries to help but lack medical, enough medical supplies. A sea of cars block the road ahead. The pile up is so bad that there's no ob there's no obvious way through. Fabi Fabian, aggressive off-roading. Enoch, find a new route, abandoned car and walk. Well, definitely not abandoned car. Uh, find and... I'm not sure if aggressive off-roading is good. I'm trying to find a new route. Oh, take more gas. Yes! Decides to make a detour. The detour goes unexpectedly well. Enoch's wits revealed. Enoch's attitude revealed. Enoch's morale increased. Well, that's good! Lose gas. Fabian tries to help. Medical supplies. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with reserved food being the new currency. You have 22 food left. The group runs into a trading camp. Bit of trader camp. Let's see what they have. I'm trying to steal their, from their house. The group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight. With a sock inside. There are are weapon names and prices scrolled near the hole. Just drop the food in here, says a teeny voice in the dumpster. Leave it alone. Uh, next house. And here, chainsaw trader. Particular intense looking woman offers to sell you a spare weapon. I only carry the best stuff. She starts her chainsaw and reds it a few times to face this. You have 20 feet left. Leave for now. Yeah, I really don't want to trade right now. Let's see the last house. See if he has any good prices. And medical guy. Um, the group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He offers one medical item. For each item of food, you have uh, 22 food left. Trade five food. The food trades for five medical supplies. Okay, good. Okay, right, let's hit the road. Wait, right, let's check up here. Nothing, just a bunch of trays. I wonder if there's ever gonna be a secret up there. Are we there yet? No, stop asking! The group finds a new person, Gargit. She is alone and wants to join the team. Gargit claims to be great at fixing cars and machinery. She discusses car repair, but it's hard to tell if she's bluffing or not. Ask Gargit to join. The group... The group except Georgian to the team. Georgia joins the team. Onward to Canada! Fabian takes some of the rules. Fabian. The city, the city, this city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been touched by a previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only way, and their only, only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Your zombie forecast is swarm, mild, mild, aggression, irritating, current, time, night, oh god. Okay, so, give, 
what what does Georgia have? A wrench. Okay. I think this is pretty good. Actually, no way, yeah. Then give me a crowbar. And then put that there. Get Fabian, the gun. And Georgia the rebar. Okay. Oh, well, I should Nah, never mind. Give me I'm more important. More and more important. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, this sucks. Okay, this yours is like a gate. You never know which way you're going. What's a blade at night? So, they're more aggressive. Man. Don't you die, Georgia. We found the escape! Come on, come on, come on. We found the ladder out of here. Climb up! One through 20 ammo and two shotgun shells. Up here hope you guys enjoy if you did please like or subscribe to our channel this is dream come back for more next time this is dreamlight jr signing out bye do i start it oh wait morale and random yeah uh okay well that's it okay we're gonna end the video here do I end it? Okay, well, bye.